Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on circle graphs on the Casio FX CG50. There's two questions in this video. We're going to look at two ways that we can input and draw a circle on the FX CG50. Let's take a look at the first question. We've got to draw the circle x minus 3 all squared plus x minus 4 all squared equals 25 and then find the intercepts with the x and y axes. To draw a circle, what we need to do is to select conic graphs or option nine from the main menu and then scroll down. And you can see that there's two options here for uh, drawing a circle, two different ways in which you can input it. Now the question that we have matches the first of these choices here. If we uh, press execute to go into there, you can see that the setup for the equation of the circle very closely matches how we're given the equation of the circle in the question. One thing to note as well is that the preset is also negative here. We've got x minus h, we've got y minus k. So it's already set up with a negative. So we just want to input the actual values here. So comparing it with what we have in the question, we can see that h is going to be 3, k is going to be 4, and then we're interested in inputting r. r squared is 25, and so therefore r must be 5, the square root of 25 there. So we've inputted that, and then you just need to select draw, and it should draw a circle. So initially we can just see a section of this circle. I'm going to press F2 for zoom, and then out, F4 for out, and then press execute. We've zoomed out a little bit and let's just scroll up. We can see uh, the full circle presented there. You can see the intercepts here displayed on the graph, but if we want to zoom in and get those values, if we perhaps couldn't tell straight away just from looking at the graph what they were, we can go to F5, G solve, and let's do the Y intercept first, so that's F4. You can see that we've got an intercept at zero, zero. So zero on the X, zero on the Y. And press right, and then we've got a second one here, that's at zero, eight, slightly obscured there by the circle, that is an eight. We've got uh, the intercept with the Y axis there at zero, eight. Let's press G solve again, and do the X axis, X intercept. We've got the origin there, X equals zero, Y equals zero. And then we've got a second intercept here at X equals six and y equals zero. So we've been able to find those. Certainly helpful if we're asked to sketch this particular circle, we can take this information from the CG50 uh, and then label it on our sketch with ease. Let's have a look at the second example here. We've got a, the equation for a circle displayed slightly differently. We've got the equation x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 4y minus 6 equals zero. And we've got three things to do here. Find the coordinates of the center of the circle find the exact radius of the circle and then write the equation in the form uh, x minus a squared plus x minus b squared equals r squared. Okay, so let's first of all use the conic graphs to input the equation of this new circle. Uh, so if you just press exit twice from there, we should want to come back to the menu screen. And we want the second option here. You can see that that matches the way that the circle equation is given in the second question. So we want the second option for the circle. And notice here as well that they're all positive. Uh, all the coefficients are positive here. So you just have to be careful to input it if we have a negative. Well, let's compare that to what we've got. We've got A must be 1 because we've got 1x squared and 1y squared. So A must be 1 here. We've got B, well that's negative 2, minus 2x, so we need to input that as minus 2. C is plus 4, so that we can just input 4. And then D is negative 6, minus 6 as our D. Uh, we've got everything in there, and so press execute, and then draw to draw our circle. It's a little bit below the axis there, so I'm just going to scroll down, and you can see our circle here is drawn here. Now, if we want to find the center, then what we can do is to press F5 for G solve and then press center. And uh, those of you in the UK might notice that this is spelt with US English center being T-E-R rather than T-R-E. But it's still going to find the center of the circle for us here. And we've got it at uh, coordinates X of 1 and Y of minus 2. So it's 1 minus 2 uh, we've got as the center of the circle. So then we need to find the exact radius of the circle. So we can find the radius by pressing F5 for G solve again and then F2 for radius. 
and you can see that the, the um, radius is given here 3.3166 it's not given as an exact answer it's given as a decimal uh, approximation for the answer there but when we get certain answers for the radius we can actually uh, see if we can find out what that might be as an exact answer by going into the run matrix mode so if we go to menu and then up to run matrix and uh, if you press alpha and r it will actually recall that radius so it's been stored in r4 as there we are 3.3166 again now we should know from the way that uh, the equation of a circle is set up that this might be the square root of something because uh, the equation for the circle is often set up r squared so what i'm going to do is just square this and see if that gives us another answer well that's given us 11 that's given us the whole number 11 there so we could actually give this as an exact result by saying it's the square root of 11 so let's just try that square root of 11 press equals and then press SD you can see that that's matched the decimal equivalent of what we had for the radius before we could give the exact radius as being square root 11 uh, rather than 3.3166 which isn't exact okay and therefore what we can do is write the equation of the circle in the form and then we've got this form here well what we can do is we can use the information from what we've just found there so we know that the center of the circle is 1 negative 2 1 minus 2 we can use that to write the equation of the circle in the form that we want there well the first bit there a well that will be 1 so it's referring to the x coordinate so x minus 1 all squared will be that and then well b is going to be minus 2 so we're going to have minus minus 2 um, so we could rewrite that as x plus 2 if we wanted to x plus 2 all squared and then we know r squared well r squared is going to be 11 we've got that on the calculator here uh, so we can either write that as just 11 or if we wanted to be really exact maybe we could say square root of 11 squared um, but it would just be more simple just to write that as 11 r squared is 11 so we've got x minus 1 all squared plus x plus 2 squared equals 11 we can use the cg50 to draw circles uh, that can help us with our sketches because we can find out information such as the y and x intercepts we can also find the center and the radius as well of the circle and that can help us rewrite the equation in a different form or simply just label them on a sketch or a graph as well that we have to draw don't forget to like and also subscribe for future videos but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time on the calculator guide